Welcome to Savuma Turkey YouTube channel. In this video, we will examine some important developments that have occurred recently in the Turkish defense industry. The video will start with Rocketsan's fourth generation anti tank guided missile development efforts and final test. Secondly, we will focus on the new deliveries made within the scope of the Turkish Land Forces Command's ACV 15 modernization project. Finally, we will end the video with a focus on Vice President Mr. Javdet Yilmaz's presentation on Turkish defense industry projects at Planning and Budget Commission of the Grand National Assembly of Turkey. Rocketson Extended Long-Range Anti-Tank Missile System has successfully completed its long-range test firing. The test missile accurately hit a target 16 kilometers away. Rocketson announced the success of its extended long-range anti-tank missile system with a post on its official X account on November 22, 2023. The following statements were included in the post. Our extended long-range anti-tank missile system successfully conducted a long-range test firing and proved itself in the field by hitting the target with full accuracy. The first member of the Rocketson Extended Long-Range Anti-Tank Missile System family, called Block 1, is being developed in two different configurations, using an imaging infrared and a semi-active laser seeker. Block 1 missiles, which have the ability to be operated day and night and reach a flight speed of 0.3 to 0.7 Mach, can be equipped with tandem anti-tank, high explosive particle effect or thermobaric warheads. Depending on the type of warhead, the missile can be used against main battle tanks, armored personnel carriers, trucks, all-terrain vehicles, light pillboxes, trenches, buildings, or helicopters flying at low altitude. Block 2 missile, which is heavier than Block 1, stands out with its hybrid seeker and twice as long range. With its new rocket engine and high glide performance, Block 2 is aimed to reach a range of 1 to 32 plus kilometers when launched from the surface and 1 to 50 plus kilometers when launched from a helicopter. The project, which is currently in the design phase, is planned to start testing in 2025. Savuma Turkey's comment on the issue is as follows. Rocketson currently continues serial production of medium-range AMTAS and long-range AMTAS ATGMs. While the medium-range AMTAS missile has a maximum range of 4 kilometers, the long-range AMTAS missile reach a range of 8 kilometers. The extended long-range anti-tank missile is a new missile that does not differ much in terms of weight and size, compared to the existing long-range UMTAS missile. The most striking feature of the missile is its long foldable fins. The ability to reach a range of 16 kilometers without changing much the size and weight of the existing long-range UMTAS missile is considered an important engineering achievement for Rocketson. The most basic feature of the fourth-generation ATGMs is that they reach a range of 20 kilometers or more. In this context, it is thought that Turkey will step into fourth-generation missile production with Rocketsan's development of the new UMTA's extended long-range Block II missile. According to the statement made by the Turkish Ministry of National Defense, additional 17 modernized ACV-15s were delivered to the Land Forces Command within the scope of the ACV-15 modernization project. With the ACV-15 modernization project, a total of 134 ACV-15s with old-generation turrets will be equipped with the Aselsan-produced Nefer turret. Deliveries of the project are aimed to be completed in 2024. Turkish defense giant Aselsan is the main contractor of the ACV-15 modernization project. ACV-15s in the inventory of the Turkish Land Forces Command will be equipped with Nefer turret that has a 25mm gun, laser warning system, close-range surveillance system, driver vision system, direction finding and navigation system, commander, gunner, personnel and driver instrument panels will be integrated by a Selsun. FNSS company, which is a Selsun subcontractor in the project, will carry out the maintenance and repair of ACV-15 platforms. Air conditioning system, heating system, fire extinguishing and suppression systems will be integrated into the platforms and armor and mine protection levels will be increased by FNSS company. Savuma Turkey's comment on the issue is as follows. In the field of tracked armored vehicles, the most produced armored vehicle in Turkey is the ACV-15. ACV-15 is a 13 or 15 ton amphibious capable tracked armored vehicle that has joint mobility with main battle tanks thanks to its 350, 
or in some vehicles 400 horsepower diesel engine and automatic transmission power package. FNSS company produced a total of over 2,700 ACVs, 2,249 of them for the Turkish Armed Forces. The first deliveries of ACV-15s were started by FNSS in 1991, and the last of the vehicles was delivered in 2004. Approximately 20 years have passed since 2004, when the last vehicle was delivered. After 20 years, it became necessary to upgrade ACVs for modern combat conditions. For this reason, it is thought that the initiation of the ACV-15 modernization project is a necessity for the Turkish Land Forces Command, but the number of ACVs to be modernized, which is determined initially as 134, can be increased with the future continuation projects. Turkish Vice President Mr. Javdet Yilmaz presented the 2024 budgets of the presidency and relevant and related institutions and organizations affiliated to the presidency at the Planning and Budget Commission of the Grand National Assembly of Turkey. Yilmaz also gave some information about the Turkish defense industry in his presentation, stating that Turkey has revolutionized the defense industry and is on the path to full independence in defense production, and has become a country that is followed rather than a follower in defense technologies, Yilmaz declared that the number of companies exceeded 3,000s in the defense industry sector, and the number of projects realized exceeded 850, stating that defense industry projects have reached a financial size of over $90 billion. Yilmaz noted that the budget allocated to research and development exceeds $2 billion annually. Yilmaz announced that defense industry exports are expected to reach $6 billion in 2023. Savuma Turkey's comment on the issue is as follows. It is seen that the Turkish defense industry is in a constant growth and development, except for the period during which the global pandemic of coronavirus disease occurred. The term Turkish defense industry refers to a large ecosystem that includes more than 3,000 companies today. More than $2 billion of research and development work is carried out in the Turkish defense industry ecosystem. Exports expected to reach $6 billion are realized, and more than 850 projects with financial costs over $90 billion are carried out. The 850 figure does not include internal projects carried out by companies with their own resources. Today, the Turkish defense industry ecosystem has reached a level that can meet all the needs of the security organizations of many countries of the world. The increasing international collaborations of the Turkish defense industry also confirm this situation. In addition, considering that most of the wars and crises in the world of the last 30 years took place in countries close to Turkey, it is thought that the importance of the defense industry ecosystem for Turkey may be understood once again. Our video ends here. In this video, we examine some important developments that have occurred recently in the Turkish defense industry. And if you like to keep receiving videos of defense subjects, you may subscribe. See you in the next video of the Savuma Turkey channel. Goodbye.